do we cannot accept children's items that's just like items it's not furniture right oh, for the for the love can you just prevention programs in schools um it's a it's a, a great cause with a very important message so the song that he posted about his own experience um with getting close to those uh suicidal thoughts um it was the first song he wrote uh when he got back into music and wasn't going to release it but i tried the downtown's women i can't speak i tried the downtown women center dot org some information from anybody in the los angeles area I have a storage unit um, filled with items uh, for kids. I've got a couple of uh, have a place they know that accepts the cat. Um, children's furniture. Dude, you're so loud. I need help. Hey there, so I'm going to explain the last two links, the last two um, links that I posted. Um, a friend of mine, Calvin Cass, who happened to do my hair color for Virgin River for the last two years. He's a phenomenal artist and amazing singer. I've got cribs. I've got kids' toys. Um, I need to find a donation center in Los Angeles, and I'm having a tough time on the internet. Does anybody... Hello, friends. Listen, um, well, first, thanks for anybody that watched um, This Is Us on Tuesday. Second, most importantly, I need... My hair is, though. Come on. Um, I'll share a really adorable picture of my children that'll lighten the mood. Right now, it's like, I can't. St. Patrick's Day. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day. It's not very uplifting, is it? Damn it. I can't. This is my favorite. This is literally my favorite. And I really like it when my hair does this. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm so upset about what's happening in the Ukraine and they do not accept uh, anything for kids. Uh, currently been trying Habitat for Humanity. Um, they also, he is doing um, a reality TV show um, where the voting has just started. The great thing about this uh, is that it is, they've partnered with the Jed Foundation to raise money for suicide so I hope you're having a great evening and um, yeah, happy Tuesday to you all. Point is, send them a vote. Um, follow the links that I put in the last couple uh, pages of the story. It's for a really good cause and he is a absolutely lovely person. It's not my best. They also, they don't, it's hard to say. It's hard to say because they're like, we accept furniture, but you know, we have from. Okay, so he doesn't get it. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, in my efforts to um, not have potatoes or anything in the morning, I've discovered this. Um, Call organic rice cauliflower stir fry from uh, from Costco, and I just heated it up in a skillet. Doesn't look very tasty, but it is. With um, oh no, camera's not turning around. It's fun. Hello, hello, camera. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I heated it up with some uh, avocado oil and. Then I put a couple eggs in there. I don't usually eat eggs because 
Um, sometimes I can be sensitive to them. But we have like, look at all these eggs from the chickens. So many eggs. So I was like, well, I should probably eat some of those eggs. So I popped a couple eggs in there to scramble them in. And then I added um, those organic chicken sausages uh, for extra protein. Just like chopped it up and put it in there. And then of course, vegan eggs, cause, cause, just cause you have to. And, uh, or you could put avocado in it or like whatever protein alternative or no protein. Just have it as like a breakfast hash. There you go. That's what I got for you this morning. Okay. While everybody was watching the Super Bowl last night and enjoying a awesome halftime show, I was doing this. So, yeah, this was, this was no good. Um, these things I love. These are great. They have a weird opening so you can like close them back up again. Um, these are a great little snack. Two servings per container. It's only 15 calories a serving. And then this guy is uh, 90 calories and uh, 14 grams of protein. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing with my life now. I'm, I'm sitting here waiting to go into a, a nail salon because I decided last minute I was going to get my nails done. Anyways, that's... There's, there's nothing else. Coco. This is all backwards. Coco, yo. I don't know if any of you care. <laughs> that's made out of... It's coconut yogurt. And so if you don't eat dairy, like I been training myself not to eat dairy. <laughs> um, it's great. Um, that is expired. Bummer. I found this today. This is called the coconut cult. It's probiotic coconut yogurt, vanilla toffee flavored. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to mix this, some oat milk and some chia seeds. Um, this is what I have. I'm I'm in a hotel. Um, so I'm going to put all of this in a little black cup. A little black cup. Um, let's see. Two tablespoons is 60 calories. So if you're a person counting calories, then that's what that is. This looks pretty good. I'm gonna put a couple scoops in here. And you know what? What I say is it's the morning and I think you, you need calories. I started, I was doing this like low fat, low caloric diet and I realized that I think your body actually needs fat. <laughs> Cause I personally feel so much better when I have some fat, like some olive oil, some avocados, some walnuts, something. I, I, did not study nutrition in school. I, I don't listen to me, but listen to me. I don't know. <laughs> you know, if you don't have any serious health problems, then maybe, you know, follow along. So I'm going to do, okay, so this is one tablespoon of chia seeds. This is a one and a half tablespoon scoop that I brought with me from home because I'm that person. Um, which I'm actually going to add to my little lunch pail tomorrow. So this is what I bring to work now because I'm crazy and I have little baggies. I've got some of these pumpkin seeds. I've got a green drink mix. I've got a matcha tea mix and a bone broth in here. Y'all. I apologize for all of the plastic bags. I want you to know. I don't subscribe to plastic bags. I prefer not to use them, but I am working away from home. It's just much easier. So I put the one and a half scoops, put a couple of tablespoons of um, coconut cultured yogurt, and now I'm gonna use this um, walnut milk, which I usually use oat milk, but um, I got like the barista oat milk if you know what that is, which is, it's, you froth it. It's great. So I actually have a, um, have a frother. And if you don't 
have any other, I microwave the milk. And then I have an espresso maker, travel espresso maker with me and um, it makes a latte. So I don't actually have to go anywhere at four in the morning. I can just make my latte and go to work. So teeny tiny. I'm probably just gonna add like, I don't know, a quarter of a sliced banana on there and maybe a little bit of walnuts. And then that should keep me for a while tomorrow. So I'm just sharing this with you because I, I don't know if you follow me or not, whatever. A few months ago, I was asking like, what the heck do you eat besides eggs in the morning? <laughs> so this, that last post was supposed to say happy Sunday and I forgot to put it in there. So happy Sunday. I know most people have already seen that clip. Um, I actually hadn't until just now. When I woke up this morning um, to get on a plane to come back to Los Angeles uh, after not having watched the Oscars, sorry everyone, I love you in my industry, but um, sometimes I find it actually really overwhelming. Um, and, oh, that was weird. And uh, so I just, I choose to just not watch it, release myself from that. It's not, you know. If I'm in the mood for it, I'm in the mood for it. If not, not. But uh, I that was really shocking. Um, that was funny. The postpartum advice is so good. Um, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you my, <laughs> what irked me the most was the nap when they nap thing. I was like, I had all this stuff. I had to clean the house. I was like, what What do you mean nap when my, I'm up. I had my coffee. I'm, I'm now cleaning uh, pump parts and bottle parts and pumping and freezing it. And like, I was like, what in the world are you talking about? So that's what drove me nuts. Oh yeah, and then like don't pick up anything too heavy. Yeah, you've got a baby and a car seat, by the way. <laughs> oh, have your husband do 